it takes God and yielded men not powerful men the the men look powerful because his power flows through them the mighty God and yielded vessels many people focus on the mighty God but then they forget that his power flows through yielded vessels in second kings chapter 6 let's look at this there's a story that i want to use to establish a lesson and then we allow the holy spirit to just move second kings chapter 6 we'll begin our reading from verse 25 for sake of time 25 the bible says and there was a great famine in samaria and behold they beside it and an ass's head was sold for four score pieces of silver can you imagine that level of poverty and the fourth part of a cab of a dove's dung for five pieces of silver and as the king of israel was passing by upon the wall please listen to this for god's sake there cried a woman unto him saying help my lord o king and he said i love the king i'm not sure that the king acknowledged the god of heaven but i loved his understanding this already is a message for someone before we continue he said if the lord do not help thee when shall i help thee out of the barn floor or out of the wine press that means we have a wine press in this kingdom and we have a storehouse but if god does not authorize the help our wine presses and our bands our bank accounts and everything remain useless until god helps that means whatever you have on earth is only useful when god has really helped you from the realm of the spirit the king is saying i am king but i can do nothing if the god of heaven does not authorize help for you next verse and the king said unto her what ailed thee now listen to this interesting story and she answered this woman said unto me give thy son that we may eat him today and we will eat my own son tomorrow so we boiled my son and did eat him and i said unto her on the next day now that we have eaten your own son we are still hungry give me your own son that we may eat him and she had hid her son this is not a parable that once upon a time on earth people were so poor that a woman looked around no animals and she looked at her son that she stayed nine months to have him and said you know what son i love you but we're about negotiating your destiny they boiled one whole son and two women ate the son by the next day they wanted to boil the other one and then the other woman remembered no 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 i went through too much to have this child and she ran away that was the subject of controversy the bible says when the king heard the words of the woman he rent his clothes and he passed upon the wall and the people looked and behold he had sackcloth upon his flesh. What a responsible king. What, what are you ruling when all the children are being eaten by their mothers? And he said, God do so and more to me. If the head of Elisha, the son of Shaphat, shall stand on him on this day. He was angry because he was smart enough to know. Listen carefully. There is a lesson for us to learn here. The king knew that this God they talk about, I don't know him, but I know he's not that wicked. If he has not moved, there is a yielded vessel who has refused to allow this happen. And the king was right. The king did not blame God. He said, there is someone who is responsible for the salvation of these people. I will look for him and remove his head for not cooperating. Next verse. But Elisha sat in his house and the elder sat with him and the king sent a man from before him oh, but look at the power of prophecy but ere the messenger came to him and said to the elder see ye how this son of a murderer has sent to take away my head he says look when the messenger cometh shut the door and hold him fast at the door 
Is it not the sound of his master's feet behind him? And while he yet talked with them, behold, the messenger came down unto him and said, Behold, this evil is of the Lord. What should I wait for the Lord any longer? They were angry. And Elisha said, The mighty God and the yielded vessel, hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, God is saying, but I'm the one who is echoing it to you. It says, tomorrow, about this time, shall a measure of flour be sold for a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Now, 7 verse 2, this is the lesson that I'm praying the devil will not let anyone be a victim of this. It says, then the Lord on whose hand the king leaned answered the man of God and said, behold, if the Lord will make windows in heaven, might this thing be? And he said, behold, because you have said this, thou shalt see it with your eyes, but thou shalt not eat thereof. So, let's establish what we are dealing with here. It starts by saying, when you read the text before that, King Ben-Hadad came and, you know, fought Samaria. And then the Bible records that Samaria now became victims of war and there was famine. And women were boiling their children all around and eating their children. And then the king gets angry, sends a message. And the prophet now says, you know what? God has spoken by this time tomorrow this entire famine will cease to a point where you have food in abundance and when he said that the king said I mean the one who the king would lean on said even if God will open the windows of heaven there is something about pain and prolonged situations that are negative they can begin to deflate how far you think God can go as far as his might is concerned you can start reducing your standards as far as what you know God can do. Lord, this is what I trust you for. But now I think it's, it's like you can't go that far. So just, just whatever it is you can do for me. And the king said, Elisha said, because you have said this, you will see it. And yet not eat of it. Next verse. Now I want you to pay attention to how the miracle happened because there is a lesson here to learn also and this is what will be happening over someone's life this night god speaks that he's bringing redemption not to an individual not to a family not to a community but to an entire land now the prophet the yielded vessel now declares it let me show you what happens the moment a word comes from god and is accurately declared to men miracles begin to happen the spirit of the living god watch this there were no available men and god found four leprous men you see i told you that when it has to do with god you don't need to be powerful all he needs is for you to be yielded you cannot associate power with four leprous men as far as bringing a harvest to a territory is concerned and there were four leprous men at the entering of the gate and they said to one another why sit we here till we die please look up do you realize that this man what was moving them to start becoming dissatisfied was this they were under the influence of that prophecy they had been there but they said you know what let's not sit here till we die little did they know the same way you felt why sit at home can i just come for koinonia you thought you were just coming and your neighbor who would not come say can i go with you you didn't know that a word was already sent that this is your season of lifting this is your season of encounter next verse please keep that scripture for us the bible says and they rose up in the twilight to go to the camp of the syrians and when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp ay, 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 behold there was no man there what happened for the lord back to that lord again all power belongs to the lord for the lord had made the host of the syrians to hear a sound of a noise of chariots and a noise of horses 
even the noise of a great host look at what god is doing here and they said to one another lo the king of israel had hired against us the king of the hittites the king of the egyptians who told them it's a terrible thing when god is against you anything can fight you anything can fight you when god is against you four leprous men ladies and gentlemen we're intelligent people if even if agile men even if olympians are running if you are in this auditorium you can't hear their sound as soon as those guys began to walk the bible said that these people just had and they started even suggesting the nation that were hired the hittites the egyptians to come to us verse 7 wherefore they arose and fled at twilight and left their tents and their horses and their asses even the camp as it was and fled for their life and when these lepers came to the uttermost part of the camp they went into one tent and did eat and drink do you know what it means to have this kind of breakthrough as a leper nobody is fighting you no oppression nobody is pushing you and saying unclean unclean you wait till we eat you know that was a custom then they will push them away and when they carried silver and gold and raiment and went and hid it and they came again and they entered into another tent everybody say prepared blessings and carried tents also and went and hid it verse 9 they said something to themselves that god is telling some of you and they said to one another we do not well this day is a day of good tidings and we hold our peace if we tarry till the morning light some mischief will come upon us now therefore come that we may go and tell the king that means we can't enjoy this alone we have seen the power and the grace of god but remember we have relatives too remember we have other people who need this miracle so they came and called on to the porter of the city and told them saying we came to the camp of the syrians and behold there was no man there neither voice of man but horses tied asses tied tents as they were and he called the porters and they told to the king they told it to the king's house within uh-huh and the king arose in the night and said unto the servants i will now show you what the syrians have done unto us you see the king there is a way that god will bless you you would think is a lie you will still not trust the blessing this is what is happening the king said i am smart these guys are not that weak it's an ambush they know that we be hungry therefore are they gone out of the camp to hide themselves in the field saying when they come out of the city we shall catch them alive and get into the city and one of the servants answered and said let some take i pray thee five of the horses that remain which are left in the city behold they are as all the multitudes of israel that are left in it behold i say they are even as the multitudes of the israelites that are consumed and let us send and see now watch this they took therefore two chariot horses and the king sent after the host of the syrians saying go and see be patient and they went after them unto jordan and lo all the way was full of garments and vessels which the syrians had cast away in their haste and the messengers returned and told the king and the people went out and spoiled the tents of the egyptians so the, a measure of fine flour was sold for a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel according to the word of the lord we're still reading and the king appointed the lord on whose hand he leaned to have charge of the gate and the people trod upon him in the gate and he died as the man of god said who spoke when the king came down to him please look up there is a very powerful lesson here god speaks through a yielded vessel and he says by this time tomorrow so and so would happen and an intelligent man comes logically you would think god will forgive him and say they've suffered there is i mean don't blame the man 
the prophet said you will see it and you will not eat of it they now made him in charge of it and while he was trying to push people let's be orderly here they matched him you don't act like that with hungry people these guys have not eaten women who were boiling their children and here is a man who already the cause of the lord is upon him standing at the gate and they matched him and killed him there they didn't even know he was dead everybody was passing to go and eat god is a mighty god he can not only save individuals and families he can save cities and nations in one day if this were a parable the bible would tell us it was a parable a day came upon this earth this event actually happened hallelujah god walks through men god is mighty but his almightiness the fullness of the potential of his power is only seen when there are yielded vessels please take note it is not as though god is limited god is all powerful but if you do not find yielded vessels god will seem to look weak hosea chapter 12 and verse 13 hosea 12 and verse 13 here's what the bible says and by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt who brought them out of egypt no prophet can bring people out of egypt it is the lord but it happens by a prophet nobody has the power to heal you can't just speak to someone who is holding crutches with their legs broken and says throw that thing and start walking no no that kind of power is not given to men on their own however by a prophet the lord the lord can stand behind an individual as weak as you are as powerless as you may seem as incapable as you may seem but when he stands behind you ah everything becomes possible when he holds your head impossible becomes possible when you hold my hand everything becomes possible when you hold my hand impossible becomes possible ladies and gentlemen do not ask how god will visit you tonight that's not a wise question mary said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man he said no that is not your realm yours is to believe the dynamics of its manifestation god is like a movie director he can use anything to make his word come to pass and by a prophet please back to that scripture the lord brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet was he his israel preserved second chronicles chapter 20 and verse 20 popular scripture this is your own assignment tonight second chronicles 20 and verse 20 the bible says and they rose up early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of tekoa and as they went for jehoshaphat stood and said hear me O judah and ye inhabitants of jerusalem believe in the lord your god so shall ye be established it says believe his prophets so shall ye prosper so there are two entities to believe number one and in order of priority you must believe the lord the creator of the ends of the earth the almighty and all powerful you owe it to believe him but in addition to believing him you must believe the vessel that he uses believe in the lord believe his prophets you can believe his prophets and not believe in the lord that is idolatry you can believe in the lord and not believe in his prophets your answer will remain in the realm of the spirit hallelujah i assure you your answer will remain in the realm of the spirit and that's not where you need it if you believe in his prophets more than you believe in the lord you are already practicing witchcraft and idolatry 
in order of priority you must believe in the lord but you will not believe in the lord god you must believe in the lord your god this is my message tonight pay attention the lord that you must believe in must be your god for it to work you cannot believe in the lord one creator somewhere <clears throat> the lord that produces this kind of result for you must be the lord who has become your god he is lord but is he your god you are my god this is not a general thing you are my god listen you can believe in the lord the god that your mother worships that you have refused to surrender your life to you can believe in the lord your god the one you had one zealous preacher talking about tonight before you even see all the miracles he wants to be the lord but he wants to also be your god many people believe he is the lord but they are not interested in having him become their god in this kingdom when it has to do with exploits and results it is the people that do know they are god not god they are god there is a relationship component to exploits your god how can i call on your name and end up in shame nowhere How can I bow down before you and then bow down before a man? No way. No way. Because you are my God. Tonight, you have come to the Lord whether you believe him or not he is still lord the earth is the lord's listen there are four conditions for anyone to be called lord over a territory according to psalm 24 and verse 1 psalm 24 and verse 1 gives us the litmus test if we must call you lord there must be four things that you must own number one the act number two the resources the fullness number three you must control the mind system the mind control system and number four the inhabitants if you own the land and you don't own the resources you are not lord you must own the earth the physical environment number two you must have dominion over the resources within that territory number three you must control the mind of the people by control that means that it is your values that influence the thinking of the people and then number four you must have influence over the inhabitants there this also is the principle of territorial dominion if you want to take over a territory for jesus please keep that scripture there this must be the four things you look for dominion over land dominion over the resources within that territory dominion over the mind control systems and influence over the inhabitants that territory is over whoever wills control over the land the resources the mind control system and the inhabitants is lord this is all satan looks for when satan comes to a territory he wants to empower men who would own physical land because there is a dimension of faith and dominion that is tied to land. This is for another day. So we know that he is Lord because he owns the earth. He owns the resources. The Bible says the cattle on a thousand hills even belong to him. The mind control system and they that dwell therein they all belong to him hallelujah hallelujah are we together yes 
So, if you believe in the Lord, the mighty God of heaven, and then you believe in his servants, the Bible clearly tells you that you have fulfilled the condition that makes for possibilities. Most people, listen carefully, most people believe in the Lord, but he has not become their God. You may be seated here all across and following online. You came to church. You're welcome. And that is wonderful and even commendable. But this Lord, who is a miracle worker, within a few minutes from now, we're going to be celebrating the triumph of light over darkness. The triumph of the power of God over mundane principalities and powers. God himself will flaunt his glory once again in the midst of his people. He's going to be signing a signature like Julius Berger will build. And if you are saying who built it, there you will see a big B there. God is about to do something and sign his signature upon your life. That everyone who sees cannot say this is your boss. No, this cannot be your boss. This cannot be your mother-in-law. This cannot be some politician somewhere. This one is God. But hear me. You can receive miracles tonight. You can celebrate what God is doing. Following across the nations of the earth. You can receive all kinds of things and leave. And if they ask you, who healed you? You can tell them, the Lord. If they ask you, who lifted you from this dungeon? Who broke this age-long captivity? But for us, we will not just say the Lord. I will say he is the Lord, my God. I can introduce you to him if you tell them the lord you don't have a relationship with him to extend his power to others he should not just stop as the lord he must become your god he is my god and his name is yahweh your name is yahweh yahweh you're my king and your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh. Listen, you've heard me say it here, believers. Listen, when you go to a herbalist, when you go to some kind of necromancer or one who manipulates the realm of the spirit, in an attempt to provide solutions did you know that he does not need a relationship with you you don't even need to know his name how many native doctors have given their names to people they don't care because the the point of contact is just your need it's not a relationship but you see when you come to this god he's not just interested in giving you a miracle power job healing uh -uh. He feels it's an insult to give you those things first. The first thing he presents is himself. Himself. Not just his power, himself. And he's not ashamed to come and live within an individual. So that you don't just call him the miracle worker alone. You can also call him your God. This is where sometimes, respectfully speaking, men and women of God make this mistake. We keep presenting to people a God that is far and they watch his power, they watch his grace, they watch his wonders and then at the end of it we share the grace. And they leave having received from a stranger. They leave having been blessed by a stranger. Many of you go to the market and you have a few people you call customer they call you customer you call them customer is that true if you are going to go and buy goat or a ram sometimes you go straight to them because you know in fact sometimes you have a relationship with them you can call do you have this they say oh you are welcome so it's true you are coming to buy but sometimes even before the buying and selling you can see down how are you how are your children how is everything you will even have nicknames a day will come you will sit down there and not talk about buying and selling because your relationship now is beyond what you are buying 
what God is looking for, ladies and gentlemen, please hear me, believers. God does not just want people who just prostitute themselves around him. Come and pick miracle. Come and pick breakthrough. Come and pick healing. Come and pick this. God, I've had enough. Let me run. Eh? When I have a problem, I, I, I'm telling you, even if I don't know you, I know a man of God who knows you. And God says, I will love you because love is my nature. God does not have love. He is love and he cannot deny himself. However, there is a more excellent way when he becomes your God. So that is, you don't have to wait until a koinonia service alone, right there where you are, in your room. You can tell him, Lord, I thank you for your servant, but I also know that you are my God. When you meet Jesus, the first thing he gives you is not a miracle, like a physical miracle, the first thing he gives you is not money, not cars, not a job. He offers himself. You can reject him. He will still respect your choice. This is the marvelous thing about him. You can say, Jesus, I'm not here for you. Just give me the job that I hear you can give me. And he says, well, I will give you because I love you. But is this all you want? I, I was preaching somewhere, I think it was in Enugu, and I was giving them an illustration. Imagine, for instance, let's say, for example, you have been calling me since yesterday. Apostle, I need to see you. It's an urgent issue. And I said, what is the issue? Say, I must see you. Imagine that you walk up to me, and all of a sudden, your attention is on my shoe or on my cloth. And I'm saying, okay, I'm here. And say, no, no, no. When I said I wanted to see you, it was not really you. I wanted to see your clothes through you. It's your cloth that I'm interested in. And you keep looking at the cloth and say, Taylor, just um, get this measurement. That's all I really want. Imagine the disappointment. All that call is just because you wanted something and not the person. So we pray and fast, God, come now. And when he shows up, we say, no, not your face. Just where is your hand? That's where I'm looking for. I hear that at your right hand there are pleasures. I don't want the left. Give me the right hand quickly. Let me get the pleasures and be on my way. It may look very funny, but Jesus is speaking to many of us right now. Believe in the Lord, your God. Believe in the Lord, your God. You have believed in the Lord, but can he become your God? You have come with pain. You have come with all kinds of issues. Many of us have written, you know, we've been having this miracle service for years, but there is no single month. Ministry has taught me that there is no exhaustion to the reality of human needs. Even if you were to hold a miracle service every day, you will still have people. That means when we say, if you have come for this week, don't come again. You will still see people as though they never receive from God because the needs of people keep increasing. As one problem is solved, the devil now tries to come to cause another problem again. Just when you are celebrating, then he tries to bring sickness. Just when you are celebrating, then he tries to bring something else. But now, thanks be to God, which always causes us to triumph. I sense in my heart to make the altar call now. In this kingdom, you strike when the iron is hot. And now that the Holy Ghost has spoken to us, he needs to become your God. Now, can I be honest with you? There are many believers who are not serious with God. There are others who do not even believe him. Some of you probably were invited by so many others. You are in the main auditorium. Some of you are down all of the overflows outside or following online. And you're saying, Apostle, I, I, I hope that this your God is really God. The Bible says you can taste and see that the Lord is good. You shouldn't just hear. You can eat. There can be an experience where you taste and see. Like going to a restaurant, you can see a publicity. This is a lovely meal. We make this, we make that. You can actually enter the restaurant order the food and taste and then for yourself tell whether they lied to you a man can taste and see that the lord is good can i tell you this many of you have struggled you have lived defeated lives anyone who does not have the immunity 
that his relationship with the Lord Jesus brings remains a perpetual victim of Satan, a perpetual victim of causes. There is no hope for permanent deliverance for such an individual. Even if you administer the power of God, the demons will live with speed because they know that there is no legal basis for the continuity of his freedom. They will only wait for him and return back with joy. The first ultimate and greatest deliverance, the first ultimate and greatest healing, the first ultimate and greatest prosperity is to come and receive this gift of himself. God offers you himself. I want to start a relationship with you. Here's what the Bible says. For God, that same God, so loved the world. John 3 and verse 16. Popular scripture. That he gave his one and only. John 3, 16. His only begotten son, that whosoever, including you, whosoever, not some preacher, not some whosoever, believeth in him. There is a law that that person should not perish. Listen, you may be here and you may be the first person to make this decision. Some of you have had dreams where God has told you you are the one who he will raise to tear down these horns that have attempted to destroy God over your family. Let tonight be your night. We will celebrate miracles, signs and wonders. But I need you to make this decision immediately for Jesus. I'm going to make an altar call. Wherever you are seated here under the sound of my voice in the main auditorium, the galleries, all the overflows down to the basement, the overflow outside, and those following online, Jesus Christ is calling you. Listen, you have a choice. This is the beautiful thing about God. He so loves you that he will not force you. But can I tell you, when love calls, answer. Before power calls, love calls power comes out of that love you are here and you are saying apostle if you will give me an opportunity i sincerely want to win that war tonight and then for some of you the devil is telling you with all that has happened in your life all that you have done all that your family has done do you think god will accept you he can always give you a new beginning and then there are people who are saying apostle I remember giving my life to Jesus, but as it is, my life has gone haywire. I need to rededicate my life. I'm going to count one to five. Listen to me. Do not be ashamed. If I tell you to come and collect a check here, you will not ask whether your hair is in the right place or your shoe is in the right place. Run like there's fire on the mountain as I count one to five. Come to Jesus. One. All the overflows please run to jesus don't look at anyone don't worry about who is looking at you too apostle i need jesus but i'm ashamed of the person who i came with please leave that person and come to jesus this is a matter of your life and your destiny koinonia are you celebrating salvation young and old rich and poor come to jesus he will not suffer my foot to be moved i carry his presence everywhere who am i your mind is so full of me mortal man awesome god mortal man awesome god he will not suffer my foot to be moved i carry his presence everywhere you are my your mind is so full of me mortal hey, man, hey, awesome i'm just a but you are the awesome come to Jesus 
What a harvest. Celebrate Jesus. Young and old together. Hear me. The more people yield and genuinely hand over to the governing authority of Jesus, the more a territory can be transformed. A territory does not just get transformed by giving people money to start skill acquisition. That is wonderful. But the problem of man is first a spiritual problem. The problem of man is not just a financial problem. The problem of man is not just an intellectual problem. The Bible, all religions as a matter of fact, it is in this one thing they agree that the problem of man is rooted in the realm of the spirit. I salute every one of you for standing here. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Can I tell you this? Don't let the devil lie to you that Jesus cannot give you a new beginning. That's why he brought you here. I don't care how it has been. I don't care what you have done or not done. When you come to him, you see, rebels don't come to Jesus. Rebels run away from him. So that you have come before the throne of grace. The Bible says to boldly come that we may obtain grace and we may obtain mercy and find grace to help even in time of need. The only thing I'll ask you to do is that when you stand here, mean every prayer from the depth of your heart. You're not reciting a poem. Jesus is here. Someday when we meet in heaven, we'll celebrate one another and say, thank God you made this decision. If you are still joining them, please come quickly. In case you were thinking about it or you were still shy, join them, leave your seat and come very quickly. Don't worry, we'll not take time. When we pray, they'll just have your details and you'll return back and we'll be ready for the miracle service. Lift your right hand everywhere. Lift it high above your head. Let Jesus see that you are not joking. You mean business with him. Please say this after me. Say it loud and clear. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. One more time, say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Tonight, Tonight, I have heard your word. I give upon myself my ability to save myself is limited therefore I hand over my life my destiny to you I believe that you died for me I believe that you are the only Lord Savior and King therefore I ask you to come into my heart, be my Savior, be my Lord, and be my King. I receive forgiveness of sin. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that from today, I am a child of God. I go for whatever and backward never lift your hands i want to pray for you now some of you are crying let me tell you everybody who takes god seriously he will take you seriously anyone who claims that he did not make this prayer whether in the room or in the church is not born again if you are born again you must have made this prayer at one time in your life you don't naturally inherit salvation you must make this you don't wish salvation you don't assume salvation there is something called the assurance of salvation father thank you for these precious ones you have brought them oh god some of them are the ones you have anointed to be the deliverers of their family some of them have gone through all kinds of pain and disappointment lord some of them have come here tonight as their last resort they have come trusting you they have come believing that only you can save. Some of them have tried all kinds of options. They have tried friends. They have tried all kinds of things. And it has failed them. But they have come to you. He says, this is eternal life that they may know you. The one true God. And Jesus, his son. They have declared, and according to the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. I declare that the power of sin, of Satan, of hell, and of the grave is broken from your life. Yeah. Satan, take your hands off their lives and their destinies yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Take your hands off their lives and their destinies. 
from tonight i declare that you go forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ behold what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us in that we can be called the children of god i declare that you are sons and daughters of light in the name of jesus christ now please look up all of you i want you there are a number of you counselors let's be very fast because we're going to start praying i want you to just um go to my right which is your left you will see the counselors just waving the placard please follow them cooperate with them they will have your details just for a few minutes and you'll return to your seat and join us as we pray let's celebrate them all the overflows the same thing zaria also is connecting zaria make sure you are doing the same thing right now those who have made this prayer listen please if you made this prayer perhaps you are in your home your office wherever just following from your device it doesn't matter you can use the email that you find online there and let us know that you just gave your heart to jesus christ and there'll be a few people who will just follow you and um, follow up on you let's celebrate them in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now here's what we'll do we'll give them a few minutes usually i make this altar call at the end of the service but i just felt strong in my spirit so what will happen please if we need a few people to join the council also we'll make it very fast let's make it very very fast so that they can come and join us because we need to pray fire is about to fall in this place and in the name of jesus god is in a hurry to change your life God is in a hurry to wipe your tears. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we pray for a few minutes? Please rise up. Let's pray. You are here moving in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. We call you Waymaker, Miracle Walk, Promise Keep, Light in the Darkness. That is who you are. We call you there. Promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. One more time. I call you. Miracle one. Promise keeper. hallelujah prayer point number one please shout it after me you can give them the mic help me guys maybe two or three mics just give them we can have it back say in the name of jesus one more time shout it say in the name of jesus i decree and i declare that every planting that is not of god in and around my life in and around my destiny be destroyed right now lift your voice and start praying are you praying every planting that is not of God in and around my life in and around my destiny be destroyed in the name of Jesus Shabbatakata, 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'd like you to pray. He says, as for me and my house. Listen, whether your family members are here or not, you are going to stand in faith with them. Lord, as you are visiting me, wherever they are across this room, let the power of God reach them. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. As for me and my house, as for me and my house, as for me and my house. As for me and my house. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 James chapter 4 and verse 3. Apostle James is schooling us in prayer. And he's saying that there is a possibility that men can ask and yet not receive. And he tells us why. Because ordinarily, everyone that asketh should receive. But he's saying there exists a possibility that you can ask and still not receive. He says, because you ask amiss. You ask amiss. Amiss means out of patterns. And the pattern is give us this day. You can't say give me everything. You must mention what you desire. He said, what thing soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them what things soever ye desire no assumptions give us this day our daily bread are you ready to pray you're going to open your mouth and mention everything or every area you need a visitation no assumption lift your voice and begin to pray let it be from the depth of your heart lift your voice and pray no assumption. If it's healing in your body, declare it. If it's a yoke that has sat upon your destiny, declare it. Hallelujah. 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 Now, here's how we do it here. Please listen. Whilst, whilst I begin to minister, for the sake of time, we have so many things to do this night. And I don't intend to keep us here beyond our normal time. So let me advise you up front, if you are yet to write your prayer request, we have a structure here that somewhere um, as we, as the meeting is ongoing, we'll collate all the requests, even those online, you can do well.
to just send in your prayer requests and we'll pray so if you're yet to do that please do that number two if a word comes now please hear this i need to tell us this it doesn't mean that if a prophetic word does not come carrying your name or carrying descriptions that directly relate to you it doesn't mean god is not speaking to you you see the way god works is that what he says to one he says to all so if for instance god is speaking over someone who is trusting god for the fruit of the womb even though it is that particular case i may want to see here but it doesn't mean that every other person cannot connect are we together now if god is speaking concerning maybe captivity over a family and then if a prophetic word directly relates to you please do well to save us time by coming at least or indicate if you're not within this auditorium so that we know these are some of the things that take away so much time it's not a vigil so we're limited are we together there's a lot we have to do we have to pray uh, for the sick we have to minister deliverance and so on and so forth but i'd like you to believe that this will be your miracle service yeah. that this will be your miracle service yeah. in the name of jesus christ tonight i'm i'm really sensing and, and it's a very strange way but i'm sensing that god wants to begin tonight by ministering to those who are in ministry ministers of the gospel those who are currently in ministry and this is what this is what the holy spirit is ministering to me there are people who have churches there are some of you who have groups and for some they just came for greater levels of fire you don't have to come out i want to pray for you and for some of you you have the call of god upon your life but you do not even know and the holy ghost has been looking for you some of you you are the ones destined to lift your family and god has been speaking to you this is the miracle service where he finally finds you hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. 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 I pray right now for everyone who is in ministry. And has not been producing the kind of results that the bible says should follow or those who have the genuine call of god upon their lives please i want you to bring those under the anointing as i pray this prayer right now in the name of jesus at the count of three i stretch my hands may fire from heaven rest upon individuals let there be an ignition from the realm of the spirit young and old inside and outside i count three one two three take that fire now take that fire now please bring them out very quickly take that fire now in the name of jesus any church that is not growing any man of god who is struggling in ministry i bring you the power of the holy ghost here at this miracle service in the name of jesus christ intercessory groups all kinds of platforms that don't seem to be working in the name of jesus some of you your ministries to your families there are altars that god is raising you to fight and tear down i decree and declare young and old may that power come upon you in the name of jesus may that power come upon you in the name of jesus may that power come upon you in the name of jesus may that power come upon you in the name of jesus ministry with evidence ministry with proof go and be a deliverer with fire go and be a deliverer it doesn't matter what yoke has sat upon your destiny and your families i decree and declare right now by the power of the holy ghost let there be that impartation of grace impartation of fire upon you impartation of power upon you
prophetic ministries prophetic ministries prophetic ministries multiplied visions prophetic ministries particularly prophetic ministries whatever has beclouded your vision so that you don't see again so that you don't hear again receive fire upon your destiny fire upon your destiny the hearing ear the seeing eye the hearing ear the seeing eye in the name of jesus let there be an ignition by the power of the holy ghost the lord is speaking to me about prophetic ministries all of you who are out here i decree and declare according to the word of the lord step into the grace that has been apportioned for you in the name of jesus step into that grace step into that grace right now by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah now alongside these people there are a group of people i want to pray for please hear me the bible says saviors shall come out of zion can i tell you every family every territory has men and women who have been selected god wants to permeate families and bring deliverance but there are individuals that god must find wherever they are here if you are the one anointed and ordained that god will raise you to wipe the tears of your family wherever you are under the sound of my voice at the bakato at the count of three may god locate you it's time for your family to arise may god locate you may god locate you young and old saviors arise by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ arise 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 in the name of jesus he has nothing to do with gender male or female if god has raised you whether you are a gideon or deborah may the power of god come upon you in the name of jesus christ all of you in front i declare by the power of the holy ghost let it be a new season for you now let it be a new season for you now let it be a new season for you now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please let them go back to their seats quickly if they can let them go back to their seats I want to pray a very serious prayer right now this is a miracle service and the prayer i'm about to pray is a major prayer can i tell you this truly truly causes are real truly yokes are real embargoes are real yes the power of god is there to deliver but it does not happen automatically this is why you are here i want you to pay attention there are patterns i will never stop praying this prayer there are families under the sound of my voice the same thing everybody faces in the family if it's retrogression it happens to everybody if it's delayed it happens to everybody right now i want to pray at the count of three whether you are inside or outside i like you to shout that name jesus and as you shout the power of the holy ghost will rest marvelously upon you there are spirits that will not let destinies go free great people some of you have traveled abroad and even returned but nothing is changing my bible says therefore god has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name that at the mention of that name every family here having any charm or any cause or any ordinance any fraternity with darkness at the count of three may the fire of the holy ghost 
land upon that family are you ready to shout at the count of three one two three shout jesus right now yokes causes i break causes generational causes patterns of darkness be destroyed now be destroyed now be destroyed now, be destroyed now. bring them out be destroyed now in the name of jesus every spirit that will not let you go i decree and declare be delivered now in the matchless name of jesus please bring them out quickly help the ushers whether you are an usher or not please help them hallelujah we are still praying we are still praying the lord is delivering many 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 people right now every altar that is sitting on anybody's life yokes that will not let you go some of you have dreams you go to bed in the night and hear this oppression comes right now by the power of the holy spirit may that fire locate you wherever you are <laughs> hallelujah please pay attention there is a marvelous work that god is doing here there are some of you your oppressions have come in dreams you go to bed in the night and all kinds of dreams going back to secondary schools writing exams that don't finish eating all kinds of things fraternizing with dead spirits right now at the count of three makatos kata anyone's destiny under the siege of dreams i declare at the count of three shout jesus again one two three let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now by the power of the holy ghost be broken by the blood of the lamb be broken by the blood of the lamb be broken by the blood of the lamb hallelujah hallelujah i'm hearing a name mabel mabel like m-a-b-e-l is there someone like that we have to hurry up because i want to pray for the sick i'm hearing a name mabel mabel you are wearing something like her tie it's like lime or it's i don't know what color it is is there someone like that mabel what's your name where are you from is the mic working hallelujah what's your name mabel. huh mabel you are mabel you are mabel too who is from cross river i want to pray for you where are you from Pastor. where in cross river okay. i want to pray for you because i'm looking at you and i'm seeing fire and the lord wants to bring deliverance to your family you believe that i want to pray for you there's an elderly woman now i'm seeing the power of god come on that elderly woman you are not young i'm seeing the power of god come on you the lord is bringing salvation to your family your prayer has been your children in the name of jesus i don't know who that person is but right now i'm seeing power from heaven please bring the person here Malas my sister let me pray for you very quickly in the name of jesus christ i decree over your life and over your family everything that has a connection to ancestry by the power of the holy spirit let it be gone right now let it be gone right now it will not follow you to your marriage in the name of jesus christ let it be gone right now in the name of jesus 
and to you please just help them make sure they don't injure themselves to you the other lady mabel i stretch my hands in jesus name let there be a supernatural visitation for your family in the name of jesus i decree and declare that everything that is not the planting of the lord let it give way right now in the name of jesus let it give way right now in the name of jesus let it give way right now bring for me the person who shouts now in this main auditorium loud under the power of god i just heard that sound in my spirit a loud shout this lady there's a lady that that lady placing her hand on her neck please tap her for me lift your hands i'm seeing fire coming on you and the lord is saying he's removing everything that stands as a barrier i don't know what it is but right now let that fire come upon you in the name of jesus christ that barrier is over now in the name of jesus christ that embargo is lifted now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah is there someone with the name jumai i'm hearing a name jumai jumai this is what i'm hearing please if that is not your name please don't come out please let's everybody will be touched let's hurry up because i want jumai who is that is there someone with such a name jumai this is what i'm hearing that that's a northern most likely please verify make sure that you Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Hallelujah The power of God is coming on a businessman now I've seen that everything has failed this year you are into real estate or so this is what I'm real estate or something that has to do with land and construction but I'm seeing the power of God rest upon you now. And the Lord is saying he's rewriting your story. He's rewriting your story. I don't know where that person is. But may the power of the Holy Spirit touch you right now. Wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever. Please help him. Wherever you are. In the name of Jesus. Let this be the beginning of a new season. This man, come. You, this man, please come. God is about to change your life. Come. What do you do? What do you do? I'm into real estate. You are into real estate. Stand here. God is about to change your life, my friend. You believe in miracles? Believe, oh, please believe. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Oh, there is something called a prophetic advantage. And in the name of Jesus, by the privilege of God's grace, I stretch my hands and I declare, may the power of the Holy Spirit shift you to a new season. Shift you to a new season. Every limitation connected to what you do. God who located you, and I'm using him as a point of contact. If there is anyone here that has been grounded in business, that the only thing you see is shame and reproach, may that embargo be broken now. Let it be broken now. Hallelujah. Why are they here? Okay, I'm going to pray for you. Why is he here, sir? Who brought him out here? Your name is Jumai? Or oh, you just came out on your own? It's okay, I'll pray with you. No problem. It's all right. Huh? Sir, look at me. Don't be ashamed. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! let it be over now keep him there in the name of jesus every oppression and every yoke over your life now i'm seeing something that looks like i'm seeing a serpent all around this man i declare right now the power of god is coming on one of you right now i just saw like light Jesus Christ, 
God is visiting an ancient altar. This is what I'm seeing. Let it be broken right now. Now, the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be broken by the power of the Holy Spirit. For every one of you who has come out here, I'm seeing the Lord bringing, I'm seeing this map I always see now. And I'm seeing Nasarawa State. Nasarawa State. The power of God is visiting families from Nasarawa State. This is what I'm saying. I stretch my hands right now. The power of God is going to begin to come upon families. There are yokes connected to those regions. I declare right now every altar. Let there be deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverance right now. I break those yokes. I break those yokes in the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you who are here, madam, please lift your hands. Look at me. Shame and reproach. That's what I'm hearing. And reproach. Let it leave you now. Never to return to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, where are you coming from? Who is... Huh? Kogi State. Hmm. Did you come here alone? Yes, sir. You came here alone? Whatever connects you to the dead, dead, like dead people, I'm praying this, and this is not just for her. I'm seeing the number one seven, that everything that connects people to dead people, they come to you in your dreams. When you are sleeping, calling you, they won't let you rest. This is the spirit of death over families. I'm, I'm going to pray for you, mama, but I'm using it as a point of contact. Please take what I'm saying seriously. If there is anyone here or any family here appointed unto death, right now I declare, as I'm praying for our mother here, may that, that arrow that has been sent to that family, let it return back to any devil that sent it. Let it return Let it return to every devil that sent it. Let it return to every devil that sent it. Let it return to every devil that sent it. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, Mama. Right now, I stretch my hands. Let there be a miracle. I separate you from the spirit of death in the name of jesus and all of you who are in front here for whatever reason you are out in jesus name may god give you a visitation may god give you a visitation by the power of the holy spirit i'm telling you i sense such a strong healing anointing i know that god wants to really really heal the sick we'll hurry up so that we'll start ministering to the sick but i want to pray please stop this woman for me this mama please don't be embarrassed man lift your hands i want to pray for you please stand up stand up the lord wants to remove reproach where are you coming from ma oh. don't don't cry madam don't worry you are you are here before the lord you see sometimes you may not know what kind of oppression people go through you see people laughing clapping hands lifting holy hands but there are people who are standing it's like they are standing on hot coals while they worship the lord hallelujah let me pray for you madam in the name of jesus i stretch my hands towards you you were going and the lord said i should stop you i declare that shame and reproach over your family and over your own life the spirit i want to pray here there is a spirit that makes people to be misunderstood where your evil becomes good your good becomes evil or there are people here it has happened to many people even in their workplace you do good things but people misinterpret what you are doing you know, when Bishop Oyedeko started ministry of Father and the Lord, this is what he said. That one time they were praying and the church was not growing. 
And he said, the Lord asked them, please help those under the anointing. It's a serious prayer I want to pray now. He said that the Holy Spirit asked him to come out and he stood and he looked up and in a vision he saw a thick layer of darkness. And he said, this is the blindfolding demon that misunderstands what you are doing. And he says, now rebuke it. And he rebuked it and it folded and went and he produced a poster. He said, come and see. And that was it. I want to pray for someone here. The Bible says, do not let your good be evil spoken of. I pray for you. If there is any manipulation over your destiny that makes every good thing you do to be misunderstood, I break that spirit from off your life now. I cut that spirit away from your destiny now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, I declare this is your, don't cry. This is your liberty right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a family, my God. Ah, you are the only child not like maybe male or female you are the only child in that family and i'm seeing the spirit of hardship the lord wants to bring deliverance to that family right now right now in the name of jesus i don't know who that is if 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 there is someone like that please let me know i want to pray for you you are you are the only child only child you are the only child i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ only child i want to pray in the name of jesus please stretch your hands towards me i decree and declare the embargo of hardship and suffering and everything that has kept your please make sure you are coming out for this situation this situation don't just come out at random i stretch my hands right now and i decree and declare honestly the power of god is coming on you in the mighty name of jesus every connection with yokes of ancestry let it be broken now 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 every yoke sitting on your destiny that you will not move forward i prophesy to you advance in the name of jesus advance in the name of jesus only child parandas kadilakotosia advance in the name of jesus advance in the name of jesus advance in the name of jesus can you imagine only child everyone here i'm praying let them go release their destinies now I'm praying for everybody, but there are two people particularly here in front. I'm praying this prayer for release their destinies right now. Release release their destinies right now. Release their destinies right now. In the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus. Release their destinies right now. Everything holding you down, tying you down, be delivered in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah let this be permanent in your life and i pray for you out of you that looks like you are the only one may nations arise 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 in the name of jesus please return back to your seat let's pray for the sick now hallelujah Hallelujah, eh. Hallelujah, eh. Hallelujah, eh. Hallelujah, 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 
please look up many years ago I'm about to pray for the sick I was caught up in the realm of the spirit and I had a vision it was like it was locked down and when I was there I saw people who were very sick people who were, some of them were lying down stretchers and when I looked at it a voice spoke to me from that vision and he says go and heal them all and from that time till forever God has not left himself a witness please hear me some of you are standing here for yourself you are standing here for your loved ones I want you to believe that God is a miracle worker within the few minutes we have here's what we're going to do very quickly some of you already this mass ministration has brought all kinds of healing for you and even notable miracles everywhere this is a miracle service as I pray for you and rebuke that sickness here's what I want you to do be bold to do what you could not do before and the moment you find out that there is a miracle for you don't be ashamed don't be afraid I want you to quickly quickly make your way whether you are up the gallery whether you're around in fact some of you as you check yourself now probably I administer to you and you found out that there is a miracle happening to you I like you to come and stand either by my left here or by my right and whilst we are doing that concurrently please I like you to pass your prayer request to the last person at the aisle whether left or right and then PR uh, um, or, or ushers all the officials please do well make sure that you collate them and let's have it very quickly let me just give you a minute to tidy up your prayer request and then you stand up and we'll pray for the sick we'll pray for the sick very quickly you can take the second half if you are yet to receive your a, a form or if you are done just pass it to the person do it believing do it believing that God is visiting you Please pass it to the last person. Can you arise? I want to pray for the sick now. Please let's be upstanding. Thank you for your patience. We want to pray for the sick now. I believe in miracles. I have experienced the healing power of Jesus myself in my own life. Please lay your hands right now. Those who are watching from your homes, this is a time to receive. He is healer lay your hands everywhere you are trusting god for a miracle if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest if you're standing in for someone or with someone go ahead and make that contact everywhere outside make sure you participate please believe god for healing of anything and everything Now unto the one upon the throne We raise a sound We raise a sound For you are God and God alone Hallelujah Hallelujah Father, you anointed us to be extensions of your healing power to the nations. And right now, I pray over your people. Many have come desiring to receive. Many have come desiring to be healed of all kinds of diseases and sicknesses. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and even with power. And it says he went about doing good and healing they that were oppressed right now I decree and declare everyone here who is oppressed I command the spirit that is back of any infirmity to be gone now in the name of Jesus 
now in the name of Jesus now in the name of Jesus I declare be healed in Jesus name my God already I'm seeing the Lord heal someone's someone's limbs I don't know if you're on a wheelchair or you're on crutches but a miracle is happening right now in the name of Jesus Christ let there be healing for you right now let there be healing for you right now let there be healing for you right now I decree and declare pain on the head severe migraines the Lord is healing right now pain around the joint areas all around the arm in the name of Jesus let there be a miracle right now now hear me every cancer cancer or any kind of cancerous growth we curse you now in the name of Jesus HIV AIDS be healed in the name of Jesus everyone who cannot see in the name of Jesus partial or total blindness I command that eyes to open now in Jesus name anyone who cannot walk I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit let life and strength come upon your limbs now in Jesus name there are many people connecting from several hospitals I decree and declare in the name of Jesus let the power of God from here through the airwaves let it come upon you and bring you life heart palpitations be healed in the name of Jesus growths around the body anywhere around the body we command you to give way right now in Jesus name there's someone you are having severe pain you've gone to the hospital it's like they said something is happening to your I don't know if it's your nerves or just the bones around your spine right now I'm declaring to you let the healing power of Jesus touch you now someone you have like a skin infection I'm seeing several things are happening around your skin it's, it's not necessarily lack of hygiene is that something has happened I don't know some demonic thing I declare let there be healing for you right now the Lord is showing me people just the throat area it looks like you swallowed something but it has refused to pass down and it's terribly discomforting the power of God is touching you right now every pain around the chest area be healed right now there's there's a lady the power of God is touching a lady you have a lump in fact multiple lumps on the left side of your breast but as I'm praying for you the power of God is touching you right now that devil leaves your body forever in the name of Jesus Christ ha, this is interesting the Lord is healing a man of impotency in the name of Jesus Christ I speak it by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be supernatural healing for you right now let there be supernatural healing for you right now regardless the medical report we change it now in the name of Jesus someone's left ear someone's left ear in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost the Lord is speaking to me that there is someone you are having the early stages of prostrate prostrate cancer you are a man in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit wherever you are let there be healing for you right now let there be healing for you right now movement around the body I'm seeing someone having movement sometimes you literally feel like something is moving around your body help them please help her I command that devil to leave you right now in the name of Jesus Christ what is that condition where you cannot sleep in the name of Jesus Christ apnea sleep apnea I'm seeing at least three people having that condition just rolling rolling on the bed but never getting to sleep you are unable to sleep even if it's for an hour in the name of Jesus wherever you are whether in this auditorium or outside I declare be healed right now 
be healed right now someone just around your wrist the lord is bringing a miracle for you i don't know if it's that you was it a, 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 a some kind of injury or whatever it is i want you to check it right now the power of the holy spirit is stepping upon you in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone who has like malaria or typhoid you've treated it again and again and it has refused to go in fact you came here feeling so sick right now i'm praying for you may the power of the holy spirit touch you where you are in the name of jesus christ now any pain around the bone region whether neck hand the the waist area i declare may the power of the holy spirit touch you right now be healed in the name of jesus someone you are having a problem with your nostrils it's like you don't smell completely or is that you don't smell well in the name of jesus christ i am praying for you may the power of the holy spirit rest upon you now there's someone's child here i'm seeing like like it looks like bipolar you know acting as like madness sometimes a person just begins to talk i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit let there be healing for that person right now in the name of jesus christ let there be healing right now in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle right now by the power of the holy spirit and any condition whether i mention it or not in the name of jesus the son of the living god be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now the lord is showing me i'm seeing someone your child has autism autism in the name of jesus christ i declare by the power of the holy spirit may the anointing rest upon that child right now let there be a supernatural miracle in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing like a picture of a woman's womb and instead of seeing a child there i'm seeing like a big mast i'm not a doctor just resting there in the name of jesus christ i don't care what is the name of what is there by the power that raised christ from the dead we command that devil to go out of that womb now we command that devil to leave that womb now in the name of jesus christ therefore be healed from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name someone your uncle your uncle i don't know it's like you had a problem with your uncle as i'm praying check it now you will see that that devil has gone the pain is gone completely now please check yourself you find out there is a miracle i want you to run right now miracles are happening everywhere please if they are coming to testify allow them whether they are coming from outside are you celebrating make your way to the front right now the power of god is touching people check yourself do what you couldn't do before look at this look at this look at this a miracle is happening there are you celebrating what god is doing ah. check yourself don't sit back the moment you find out mama has been healed something has happened to mama are you celebrating jesus more people are coming the lord is touching people please check yourself check yourself check yourself there's there's someone i was i saw this when i was praying i'm still seeing it i don't know if it's that you could not use your left leg um it's like i don't know if it's that you cannot walk well or you could not walk completely but i'm seeing the lord heal that person wherever you are check yourself if you are seated or you're on a crutch stand up and trust god for healing stand up check yourself right now koinonia are you celebrating what jesus is doing hallelujah we're going to take please sit down for a few minutes we'll take a few a few testimonies right now very quickly to the glory of the name of the lord please let me know when you're ready so that we'll hurry up god is healing people supernatural healing in the name of jesus christ
this man what is that on your neck it's a collar huh you don't you your neck does not you, you feel pain huh or you can't move your neck huh it grab it let a doctor help us explain this or oh, i don't know what is okay my neck gravitates to the left when Gra i try when i try to move it to the right it goes back to the left it doesn't move so it goes back to the left when oh when you move the neck moves back yeah, moves dave what is that yes it's called torticolis yes it's called torticolis it's the spasm of the neck it's no matter what he does it goes back to um, the intended position. Oh, it doesn't stay. It doesn't stay. Can I pray for you? Place your hand there. Carry your collar. Come with it. Someone help him. Where are you coming from, sir? Where are you coming from? From Abuja, yeah. place your hand there, Father. In the name of Jesus, I don't know what this is called, but I know it is demonic. In the name of Jesus, right now, I stretch my hands. Let there be a miracle for you. Amen. You see, something is happening to you. I'm seeing like fire just rest upon you. I wouldn't have called you except that I sensed that a miracle was happening to you. I curse that devil now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know how long it has been but right now I declare let there be a supernatural miracle over your neck in the name of Jesus sir look at me look at me just place your hand there go ahead go ahead go ahead Go ahead. Go ahead. Look at this. Keep it there. Keep it there. Keep it there. Turn. Keep it there. Look at this. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Stand up. Do it again. Move left. Don't be afraid. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Eh. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, please look at me. I want you to believe in miracles don't let the devil make you think you are just acting this is why not acting movies here in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that what has happened to you now it remains permanent in the name of Jesus Christ please return to your seat rejoicing yes yes sir yes so please come very quickly so, Apostle, yes you gave a word of knowledge for you know people with problems with their wrist with they, their wrist yes so this four people were having here check Everyone check yourself them. let's see it any pain how long has it been for you how what of you two months. four years plus four years plus check it now any pain it's completely gone in the name of jesus christ we declare it remains permanent by the power of the holy spirit permanent by the power of the holy spirit in jesus name i pray yes sir Give a word of knowledge regarding people with pains in their neck, their back, and and the waist. How long? Okay. It's been four years because I saw and it comes once in a while. I even forgot that the pain was there. I was standing in the gap for my family. Okay. And then I began to feel heat sensation when you declared the pain. I began to feel the heat. So I I I, I can before now I can't bend. Bend now. Bend now. Any pain? Come on, Koinonia. Any pain? In the name of Jesus, 
I declare it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. So, everyone here have one or, you know, two different situations of pain in their body. Okay, please pain. Come, All of you forward. here. Please come forward. Just bring them forward here. Where is... Okay, I will listen to all, but I want to listen to that mama's testimony. That, that, that our mother, I want to know what happened to her. In the name of Jesus, all of you here, please lift your hands. Every pain, whether around your joint, wherever it is, the miracle that has happened to you, the power of God is coming on one of you. I just saw light right now on one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be the end of it. Because yours is not just pain. This is witchcraft. I command that devil to go never to return again. In the name of Jesus, I bless you. You are healed. You are healed forever. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Apostle, Mama here has had challenge with her knee for over four years. She could not fold Your knee. Her Let her knee. talk. Yes. She couldn't fold for the past four years. She went to the hospital. Before, before I can't fold my legs. Please help us with the mic. But today, I can fold it. No you can't fold your legs. Before, go ahead. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Any pain? No. Look no. at this. Completely. For the past four years, sir. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Go ahead. Very quickly. Movement in our body for the past five years. He says something snaky moves around. So when you mention the case, she touched her stomach and her chest. Then she fell under the anointing and now she's sound and whole. Where are you from? Lagos. Lagos. State of origin? Ogun State. In the name of Jesus, that devil leaves you now, never to return to you again. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, this please. This boy has had kidney issues for years, so he couldn't breathe very well. When you mentioned the case, he fell under the anointing and now he, he couldn't can breathe. breathe very well. Now he can My breathe. friend, breathe. Breathe in. <laughs> Look how determined he is. Breathe in and out. In the name of Jesus Christ, he will never, never return to you again yeah. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please spinal pain for the past two years he said he couldn't turn his neck and he could not stand for long but the power of god came upon him now the pain is gone you, you, what do you mean you couldn't i was always having discomfort i can't find it do what you couldn't do before you couldn't do this before lift your hands stretch like you are stretching any pain it's gone completely in jesus name we declare it will never return to you again by the power of the holy spirit yes Okay, we are still on. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, this is God's miracle upon the two mamas we have here. Hallelujah. Speak in house, any Please language house you can go ahead. Speak in it. When I cover, yesterday, in a dam, when I shake her, I say, "Can I?" That man, I said, "The car is shago, but I say, say I shago." Because she is a good shago, then I bury. Me faru yenzu ama. Yenzu na di she so kienzu. Kigudu. Run. Oh, look at this. She's complaining that she, for a long time, she couldn't sell because of a pain on her limb. And now it's gone completely. It will never return to you, mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and excel. And I pray in addition to this, may God prosper you. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please. Let's celebrate God for her. Similarly, mama also has okay. been having this problem for more than a year. Praise the Lord. This leg. Since uh, the COVID-19 lockdown, around March, I've been having these pains. I, can, I don't go out. I had, if, if my husband is not going to church, I will not go to church because I cannot climb bike. But you can't climb bike? No, I can't climb bike. And see my leg now. Yes. Come on, are you celebrating what Jesus has done? Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never, never return to you, Mama. Amen. You are healed now. You are healed forever. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's celebrate her. Yes, please. Apostle, a very interesting case. She has a very strange condition. Well, I'm not a medical person, so I will not attempt to explain. <laughs> but, okay, so we have a medical person here, and I think... Okay, go ahead. Praise the Lord, sir. She just told me now that she used to have conjunction in her chest. I she has to have... Conjection in her chest, so okay. she's able to breathe very well. Okay, her lungs will be congested and all that. Then her BP is always high, so her blood pressure is always high. Yes, okay. To confirm that, I asked her, Can I go and bring our BP apparatus to confirm if it has actually gone down? She said yes, so I went to bring it. So I had checked the BP night, it has gone up. I will have shown the camera. 
it was 129 to what we used to read 150, 100 and above before. Wow. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare let there be a miracle for you right now. Your BP returns back to normal in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Yes, please. So, Apostle, we have a very strange miracle here. Hmm. Um, so, please, my go ahead. Praise the Lord. My name is Remy Adjusu, a politician. Oh. Um, two weeks, the last time, um, miracle healing, miracle service, I came. Then I found out that I was healed. I, was, I, didn't, I didn't even think about it. I could walk around. My son was trying to video my everything. He was surprised. This is how many people start, but he doesn't believe in all this. Well, I went from South Africa, I said yes, it is. But the third day after the healing, I started having that feeling again. Then I said, what, what is that? So I called my son in South Africa who said, Mommy, your house must still have something that is not uh, of God. Huh. So maybe it's in gas or something. But this today, today, yes. when I came, I was telling the, my neighbor who sat with me, I'm not sure, I have to walk out, walk about, and try and stretch my body, and then make sure that I'm not... And, and right now, what happened to you, Mama? I feel stronger. Huh. Just a minute, Apostle, maybe just to jump in here. She actually had what they call a motor skill disorder. Her body begins to tremble. So, in fact, for her, that was the shock. So, her body shakes, and um, I think... Like, like Parkinson's? Yes. Or... yes. So, I'm... Um, I feel okay. Wow. I, I can dance for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. I hope I'm, I'm not mistaken. The one time governorship, governorship aspirant in Lagos. Oh, I'm so, my God. <laughs> Truly, oh, she stopped shaking. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry we didn't recognize to honor you. May God bless you, Ma. And even in politics, may God take you to the height you desire. Amen. We declare that this devil of shaking all around your body as it has stopped now, it stops forever. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's celebrate her. Amen. Okay. Yes. Apostle. Mama has had lump in her abdomen for two years. Let now. her speak. Now, the one strange thing about this is that the lump sucks her blood. So every time they give her blood, the, the lump will suck. Please let her speak. Yes. Uh, for the last, since 2018. Is, is this I the best losing, of the sound? Please help us. Since 2018, I was losing weight. And I went to my doctor. They found out that my blood level was low. And my stomach was hurting. There was a big lump, and it always hurt me. So when they give me blood, the blood will high, and then the following day, it will go back down. So, and then I had heart problem, and then I was operated on my lungs because my blood was so low. So when I determined that I must come here. And that's why I wore two piece. So that I said, when they were talking about this, I would put my hand on my stomach. And as I put my hand on my stomach, on this side, and as the apostle was praying, the Holy Spirit fell on me. And I felt the heat all over me. And now the pain is gone. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit, it will never return to you again. And the Lord is taking away the spirit of death completely from your family. Where is your husband? He passed away in 2017. Where is your son? He passed away. I have my oldest son passed away in 2011. Every spirit that kills the men in your life, I use as a point of contact to pray. Whatever will make people suffer and when it's time for them to stay, they died. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse that spirit now. And, and, my, and my youngest son passed in 2013. 2011, 13, and 17. I lost all my kids. 
left. How many sons do you have left? One. Out of? Out of three sons. The oldest and the youngest. In the name of Jesus, Mama, don't worry. That one son we have, may God make him equal to ten sons together. That one son you have, we are standing as a family here to pray for you. That in the name of Jesus, you may not seem to have a husband and all the sons that should take care of you in old age may have gone. But if the son is here or maybe he's following online, we are praying for you. May God give you the strength of ten sons. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, ma'am. God bless you. Let's celebrate very quickly. He gave word of knowledge of love in the brace. Ten years long in the brace. Ten years. Ten years gone. Disappeared, confirmed by the medical person. Please let her talk. God. Hallelujah. It's on my left breast. I've, I've had it uh, counting, I think, either 10 years or more. Okay. I've, I've run the checks on it. They found in the hospital, but you mentioned it, and shortly afterwards, I, I was able to put my hands in my clothes, and I don't... Completely. It's gone. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. Where are you coming from? In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare it will never return to you again, madam. It will never return to you again. In Jesus' name. Uh, let's see how many, yes sir, let's see how many we can take so, more. So, Apostle, we need to hear this. Um, we need to hear this one. So, sir, I can't explain the, there was a name, the medical terminology. You know, these medical people, they frustrate us sometimes. You just stand and they call something that looks like um, a whole verse. Apostle, the mother has lumbar spondylosis. Oh, I know that one. Yes. That demonic thing that stops people from, I know yes. that one. For the past five years. So they've been trusting God and believing God for a miracle. No, the mother uses a lumbar corset. So okay. in the course of the service, he called them and asked them to connect in faith. And now the mother can do what she could not do. Ah. No more corsets. From where? She where is your mother now? She's at home. She's at home. She, in Abuja, yes, yeah. sir. yes, sir. Wherever she is, if she's fallen, Mama, we salute you, we congratulate you in the name of Jesus. That miracle remains permanent. Yes. Lumbar spondylosis in Jesus' name, you leave Mama and we declare she's healed now and healed forever. And f you for standing, what are you trusting God for? No, I didn't say kneel down. Please stand up. Our time is going, my friend. What are you trusting God for? Think before you talk. Don't just speak. Um, yeah. Don't be afraid. Um, I, 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 I heard this. God have told me that I'm, into, I'm called into ministry. Um, what I want is to have double portion of your anointing. Sir. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. You people are sit down our time is going listen he's a very wise person but but let me let me let me you think i'm going to just impart and say, go and read your bible you people think anointing is mm -mm, god doesn't work like that you are you are listen my friend don't worry god is going to it is it is my joy that god will raise multiples of this you get the point but there is a process in the spirit huh but i want to pray for you what do you do now i mean so many say i was doing business before but if I start explaining it, it is too, it is too long. Listen, I want you to take care of that your mother first. Eh? Yes, sir. It's when you can eat all that you have the strength to even do yes, what you are doing. So I want to pray for you. Stretch your hands. In the name of Jesus, believe what I'm saying. Father, empower this, my friend. That one day you will come and stand here. May God use relationships to change your life. In the name of Jesus, may God raise a helper to just hold your hand and help you. I release this grace upon you. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, please. Very quickly. All right. So, okay. Okay, so, Apostle, you, you spoke about the condition of malaria and... Hold on, actually, please. Hold on, please. So, she was actually placed on drip right on this ground. Oh, you were placed on drip here by yes. the medical team? Yes, sir. What happened to you? Malaria. And they... They placed you on drip yes. while service was going on. And an object was, has been moving around her body for how long you see now? all these objects that see throughout this week, one week ago and and right now what happened to you I'm okay. they removed the drip yes 
It's good to have medical people who have faith. Check yourself. Both of you, are you sisters? I've been having migraine for over 10 years. So after the prayers, it comes back and malaria. So after the prayers, you mentioned the case, I was laying hands on my head. So I didn't want to come out because it has happened for over 10 years. So I went into the restroom because once I perceive anything that has fragrance, it sparks it off. So, but as I went in there, I couldn't even perceive anything. That was how I knew that I'm completely healed. You see, that's how you know it's a demonic thing. For both of you, in Jesus' name, let there be supernatural miracles for you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Let's, let's see if we can Sir, take two or three very more. Striking testimony. Yes, you go ahead. Word of knowledge of HIV. HIV? Yes, she has gone to take the test now from the medical team. And, she's and it's, it's negative. Negative. 12 years. 12 years. She's Hallelujah. The hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Listen, let, let, let me tell you this. We have we have very professional medical people. So don't you think that it's just we have very some of our people work in some of the the the, the renowned institutions in this city so if i tell you that someone was checked where people of integrity will not come and embarrass ourselves before the world 12 years Ma how many years 12 years you prayed with me september 14th i came to see you with my husband after suffer suffering from a lot of shame and reproach shame and reproach yes but i thank god today I and what happened now it came out this is the doctor yes go ahead <laughs> I ran the test three times and it all came out negative. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne We raise a sound We raise a sound For He is God and God alone Hallelujah Hallelujah Hallelujah, hey. Hey. Hallelujah, hey. Hallelujah. Can I tell you this? HIV is a wicked and demonic whatever. And let me tell you, don't you think everyone who gets HIV got it from maybe living a wayward life? I have prayed for whole families where someone came in the dream, true story, with a syringe and injected them physic in the dream and they woke up physically with HIV. So not everybody you see with HIV, don't stigmatize anyone. You see that now because there are people who have this thing for various reasons. But this is why God puts a miracle service. Imagine the shame and reproach three times. Three times. Father, ma madam, don't cry, huh? In the name of Jesus Christ, everything you have lost as a result of this reproach, not only has God healed you, but we declare a restoration. Opportunities and all kinds of relationships you have lost. Let there be restoration right now. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. She has had severe heart issues. In fact, her, her brother is a medical doctor. Because of how serious the case was heart a, issue heart issues she weakness all around her body she couldn't climb stairs but the power of god came upon her and she can raise up her hand very well G give all her the this mic. she could not do before give when her the I mic came during the prayer i couldn't even raise this paper up like i had to be bringing my raise it up let the devil see it come my dear run come and climb up hallelujah hey. hallelujah hey. condition couldn't even raise that thing up you see how bad the devil is if you cannot raise your hand up the same way he brings down people's hands he can bring down people's finances he can bring down people's honor everything that has been brought down that you could not raise up 
Kaparus Katebalakata. In the name of Jesus, here at this miracle service, if God could raise a hand back, may He raise your finances back. May He raise your honor back. May He raise your wisdom back. May He raise your fire back. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Quickly. You mentioned cases of skin rashes, hitches. The part of the Yazad is since 2009. What is that? Skin hitches, rashes on the skin. Rashes? Yes. Okay. The no, no, no. Please, we don't have time for the text. Just straight. The to power the of God what? came upon him and yes. he sound now. Completely. Completely. The same thing with her. The same thing with you. Yes. How long? What happened to you? I don't know. The, the, the skin rashes just came since six months now. I've been taking medications, nothing. And, and you, now you just mentioned I'm not feeling any you're not feeling the itch yes. again in the name of Jesus it will never return to you in Jesus name yes sir so, apostle, just quickly. praise God um, some three weeks ago I had a miscarriage and I lost so much blood and as a result of that I've been having a numbing on my, oh dear. my left leg so coming into this place tonight I felt the power of God and you mentioned my case you said somebody came with a left knee um, problem three, three weeks ago three ago so immediately i felt perfectly okay i can do everything do you have now. children no how long have you been married Last year, do you believe in miracles yes, sir. place your hand on your stomach father in the name of jesus look at me you believe in jesus i stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names i command that devil i'm seeing let her go right now in the name of Jesus Christ, out of her now. It's not miscarriage anything. These are demons from the pit of hell. Be delivered right now. Let me pray for everyone here. Trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, whether for you or your loved ones, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, return with miracle children. Return with miracle children. Return with miracle children. My dear, tell her to write it. God will give her a baby boy. If her husband is here, write it. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. For the Lord is doing a new thing for you. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, he has a very strange condition. When he sits under the AC, no matter how low it is, he begins to find difficulty breathing and it actually affects him so he has a very severe headache just from that experience. once you sit under yes. ac once sits under the ac so headache or kata man of god i greet you in jesus name amen and my name is emmanuel um, yes just just a condition so, sorry yes. because so, of time so just for time's yes. sake apostle so the moment you prayed for healing for people with migraines and all he just a miracle for him for nine, nine years nine years for nine years you can't sit under ac sit under ac and anytime i go out with my governor to work with him i do cover my nose and uh, immediately i i come in today for the miracle service and i discover that i am supposed to remove my face mask. in the name of jesus christ Amen. i pray for you it is permanent it never returns to you again in jesus name please let's have two here and then maybe my god there are so many testimonies do you know what let me tell you this if you are unable to testify today don't close down your testimony we need to hear what jesus is doing the medical team you can get it we can collate it and then by next week we can invite you to come and let the house know what jesus is doing it's not a good thing to be silent over profitable testimonies they help strengthen the body more than just showing that the man of god is powerful the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Just one, two, or three striking ones, and then we'll have... Yes, sir. So, sir, these are sportsmen, and it will be interesting to actually hear what they have to say about their conditions. Yes, sir. Straight to the point. Yes, I have serious problem with my left leg. I'm in Abuja presently because the physiotherapist is taking care of the leg for like a month, my left leg. I what do you do? I play football. Oh, you're a footballer? Yes. I, I was playing for Kano Pillars before I had the injury, and then I left for two years. So... I can't really work well. I can't really play well. I've been struggling with it. I've done all x-ray, yes. the scan, and the rest. And then during the anointing, when he mentioned the left leg, somebody cannot really do stuff. And there, there's yes. always pins there. So I didn't want to... I had to go to the bedroom and check. And then when I came back, my friend is sitting there. I said, Maduka, my leg, I can't feel the pain again. He said, check it now. 
Check it. Completely. You were playing for Cano Pillars before. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Can I pray? You really want to play football professionally. Yes, Let me pray for you. Look at me. My friend, believe in the power of God. You will be surprised. There is a grace that can shift people. I stretch my hands. What's your name? Shama. Shama. Tanzi. Don't rise and drawn away from God though because let me just give you a disclaimer most people they use God when they get there they just dump him and enjoy God is raising people who love him but I stand by the God of heaven see there is a king maker anointing king makers never become kings themselves but they can enthrone kings and dethrone kings I stretch my hands now and I pray for you my friend carry this grace go to the field I pray that God will use you marvelously you will be a source of pride to your family. Let this be the beginning of great days in your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. So, oh. a similar condition, but he popped his knee playing basketball. You are a footballer too? No, I was playing basketball a few, mix, uh, few months back. So, I popped my left knee. Okay. I couldn't walk out with a limb. And now? And now, as soon as you check can yourself. Answer, I can jump. Check yourself. <laughs> check yourself. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. This healing remains permanent and the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Let's have a last one from this our little one. So, Apostle, this is interesting. He couldn't fold his legs, like bend his legs, but now... How old, how old are you, my friend? Eleven. Eleven. You couldn't fold your leg. What happened? He was playing ball. He you were born playing, that he was way? Playing, no, he okay, was playing ball. Okay, go ahead. Fold it now. Any pain? Any pain? Completely gone supernatural miracle may god raise you to become a mighty vessel in his hands in jesus name i pray amen yes please Apostle, very quickly three years partial deafness in the left ear gone she couldn't hear properly with it your but left now, ear how long over three years now can you imagine this yes, but now i can hear perfectly very clearly yes very clearly sir may you hear the voice of your destiny helper <laughs> That ear that has opened, whether spiritually I use, because there is physical deafness, there is financial deafness, there is destiny deafness. I'm praying for you the same way God opened her ears in the name of Jesus Christ. In every realm of life where your ears cannot hear, let it be open right now in Jesus' name. You will not hear the voice of your enemy. As that ear is open, you will hear the voice of your helpers. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please. Partial blindness. Her right eye. She couldn't see with it properly. So the doctor confirmed it. They asked her to close the left eye and then ask her to see. And How then long? She can see. Madam? Three months and now, sir. And you, you could not see with which, which of them? The right eyes. Close the one you could not see with. Close the one you could see with. No, she's closing two of them. Close. How, how do I tell her now? Yes. Madam, Sir. walk. Walk to the camera. Walk to the camera. Just follow the camera. Follow the camera. Look at what God is doing. Ah, look at this. To break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. That's all right. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, look at me. I decree and declare. You can, you can clearly see. When you see her eyes, you can see that this is almost as if she's completely blind. In Jesus' name, we correct this situation now. In Jesus' name. Please let that be the last for now so that we can. You mentioned pelvic girdle pain. Are you together with the boy? Okay, so let's, let's just do it with the boy once and for all. And that will be it. Yes, please. The pelvic girdle pain has gone down. Okay, what she's... happened to you, Mama? I had a pelvic girdle pain. And for a very long time, but very, very lately, it's been very painful. So during the praise worship, I danced as if I, I've, I never danced before. So uh, yes. after I felt... The pain was gone. Completely. Completely, but when pressing it, you will I still feel a bit of pain, pain, yes. But when the word of knowledge came, 
The pain was gone. Completely. Completely. Check it now. Any pain? Any pain? Secondly, there was something like a phlegm, like cough on my throat. Okay. I tried so many times to cough it out, but it let let him testify with the boy after. Yes. But just now. It's gone. It's gone. It will never return to you again, Mama. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, please. Very quickly. If, if you're here to confirm it, that's all right. We'll pray. You mentioned the case of bipolar. So he just came to present. Oh, the, uh, the in the name case. of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands over the little boy. How old is he? Nine years. Who is? Nine. 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 Yes. How old? Nine years. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands over the little one. Amen. Bipolar. Amen. Be completely healed right now. Amen. Okay, two of them. In Jesus' name, I lay my hands on both of them. Oh, you can see this one is not bipolar now. This looks like autism. In the name of Jesus, let there be healing for both of them. You know, sometimes these conditions can be so challenging. You can't imagine how it is. In Jesus' name, let there be a miracle for them. And I, I pray for all of you. We apologize that we didn't have the time. But I pray that your miracles remain permanent. In Jesus' name. And for all those who have received their miracles at home, I decree and declare supernatural healing for you. In Jesus' name. And it remains permanent. Can you stretch your hands here for a moment? We're about rounding up. If you can stand, please. This is the final stage. Apologies, it's a miracle service and sometimes it will stretch us a bit. Just stretch your hands in one minute as we decree and declare. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. This, for me, is one of the major part of this meeting because this is the most accurate representation of people's desires. We see in part, we prophesy in part. Doesn't matter who is healed. Sometimes you just cannot minister enough. But I want you to stretch your hands right now and begin to declare over these requests we decree and we declare online offline we declare by the spirit of the living god father we decree and declare let there be miracles turn everyone's mourning to dancing sorrow to joy in the name of jesus christ every garment of shame for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified i decree and declare right now over every request here i pray by the power that raised christ from the dead that every request here is turned for a testimony in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ I'm praying if there is any death sentence here represented in the name of Jesus we avert it right now yeah. embarrassing financial conditions we turn that shame and that reproach to honor in Jesus name yeah. I decree and declare that every victory that Satan may seem to be having over every life we decree the same way Jesus rose up from the dead. In the name of Jesus, everything that looks dead, it must come back to life. And as I would always declare, I decree upon these requests that these Egyptians you see today, in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God, may you see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, let me speak over your life. I truly believe in the power of prophecy every financial door I just sense in my heart to pray if you don't believe it don't worry wait for what you believe that I'm talking about then you receive but I pray right now every financial door that has been closed over everyone here in the name of Jesus causing all kinds of constraints and inconveniences in the name of Jesus let that door be open now financial doors be open now financial doors be open now 
for individuals for institutions for families financial doors be opened now so that you will have supplies that will give you the opportunity to focus on your work with god and your destiny again i pray that those doors be opened now hear me anyone here who is in any kind of debt personal debt corporate debt in the name of jesus the son of the living god by the power that raised christ up from the dead come out of that situation now everyone who has promised to help you and has forgotten about you in the name of jesus right now here at this miracle service i decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open concerning you let the book of remembrance be open concerning you hallelujah there is a garment of favor that an individual can wear and you can wear and move and everything around you will attest to the fact that you carry that garment every garment of shame and reproach prophetically i remove it from you right now and i decree and declare for your shame may god grant you access to the garment of favor favor in the city favor in the country favor in the morning favor in the afternoon favor in the night in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please help them i want to pray if there is any addiction that the devil is using to trap you because many people's finances go because of all kinds of addiction i decree and declare right now any addiction that is trapping your life trapping your destiny here at this miracle service the power of that addiction over your life let it be broken now 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 We believe in winning families any family here that is under siege troubles every day joblessness weakness death in the name that is above all names i speak over every family here represented step into a new season of favor I pray for your spiritual life because you see no matter what else works in your life if your prayer life your word life your passion for God and for the things of God if it goes down everything went down therefore I decree in the name of Jesus for someone's prayer life here that is yet to catch fire I release my faith with you from tonight spiritual laziness that will not allow you pray that will not allow you fast that will not allow you study scripture in the name of jesus we declare the spirit that is behind it let it live your life now i declare fresh fire over your spirit man fire for prayer fire for word study fire for fellowship in the name of jesus christ 